Well, here's the last level in case <clears> you wanted to watch. Yeah, the tarmac. It makes sense. Kind of. I thought it was going to be inside the plane. This level's kind of a pain. I don't... I don't see why Buzz is out here, though. Woody, I get. But we don't like Tom Hanks. Tim Allen, I, I, I like slightly more. I don't know. Tim Allen's an interesting character. Certainly a character. What? Certainly a character. Yeah. So yeah, this level I don't remember much. Like, his show, uh, Last Man Standing, is, like, incredibly watchable, but it's, like, weird. This is a bizarre level, by the way. So the issue with this level is most of the things I need to do are like up there. Uh huh. Or up, up there, or up there. And the only way to get up to those areas is by jumping onto the plane. Hmm. And then just jumping off to where you need to go from the plane. Which means to get to all of those, I have to get back to the plane. That very low poly plane. Also, to... because it's such a big, wide-open level, it really shows the render distance. Yeah. What did you do for him? Oh, he just summons one. You have to get over there without jumping or touching the, gr the green. Oh. That's a lot easier said than done. Oh, yeah. Especially when the camera just doesn't want to turn. And then I over adjust to turn, and then it just doesn't turn. That's, uh. It's annoying. Oh, yeah. Ooh. See, right there, I almost did because of the turning. Whoa. 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 Shit. I'm also using the cat that as like a break. It's super weird thinking about like the length of this game, like especially compared to Banjo Tooie, because like 100%ing this game is like a tenth of Tooie. <sighs> that was rough. Mm. That was rough, by the way. I was shitting myself. <laughs> you were a little shitty. I mean, even you were like, oh yeah, it's like oh fuck. That was way harder than I was. I have grown pretty accustomed to his movement in this game, and that was still really tight. I love how, like, right now when there's no challenge, you're just, like, doing a good job with it. Most of it, I mean, I did fine. It was just, like, the turns. I would, like, turn just a bit too much or a bit too little. Yeah. Trying to compensate for, like, the camera not turning right. 
defense. There we go. What do you think of the theme of this level? Airport? Well, the tarmac of the airport, not just like... It's interesting, but like... <clears throat> I think it's one of the weaker ones. Like, yeah, it because it, like, it's just too big. And that's already coming from a game where everything I... is a, is big to you. I wouldn't say it's too big. I just think the base idea of the theming of having this like central area that you have to get to to get to all the important areas. And it's like just just isn't well. It just isn't a good idea. It's just not like a a dream worth pursuing. Yeah, like you do. <laughs> Hey, okay, we're making it somewhere. It'd be great if we get monetized. Boop. I don't know what we would do Boop. at that point. No because, like, what? Continue making videos, maybe on occasion have a sponsorship. Yeah. If any sponsors want to sponsor our content, yeah, we, we will uh, love free money. We will sponsor, or we will gladly read oh, most any ads. Chat! Also, you're very ever so slightly getting whisked off the side. Or through it. Who knows? Didn't you want that mini guy? Or are you trying to do... I want to do this. I want to... I do want that guy, but I want to do this one first. Alright. Whew. Got him. Boss. Oh. Alright. I love that, like, bosses after Zerg, like, like, oh, like, Zerg seems like the kind of guy you would expect to be the final boss of a game called Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, but then, like, he's just not, that guy's attack is, like, it's brutal. It's the scariest. But he also has kind of low health. Oof. Yeah, his attack is pretty good. <clears throat> I haven't even found the pig yet. Are there scan lines? <laughs> even you're like, not sure anymore. Yeah, because like whenever you look at like the plane, I think I see them. Well, they're even at the ground right now. Yeah. Like I think I'm starting to see scan lines, but like uh, okay, gonna make it. I I don't know. Hey, guess what? We're going back to the plane. Okay. You you couldn't have like rewound and gotten that guy. I, there's no way I could jump up that high. Oh, that's stupid. Yep. Can I jump on that? Nope. Uh, I told you this level kind of blows. Yeah. This is definitely the weakest level. I don't know. It's like looking at some objects, it looks like there's scan lines, but then like looking at the uh, picture of the suitcase. There's definitely scan lines. Looking at the plane. It's like, look at the plane right now. There's got to be lines all over. So that was seven. So we got to... Ooh, can I make it? No. Is the answer? No. Eight? 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 Oh. Just, it just like pushed you through it. I'm like watching my feet to see if I like. Actually, I'm getting pushed off. No, it's a, it's a, okay. It looks like there is something gonna, at eight. It looks yeah. There's definitely something. I mean, if there isn't, you can just rewind. There we go. I guess what? Eh. No, I'll just go back to the middle. I'm seeing the issue here. Yeah. The level's so big, they just have the rocket feet on different parts of the tarmac, just so you can get around a little bit quicker. Like, this this is a good level in concept. Like, you use the plane to get around from point to point, but the plane being so slow and the points being like... Well, it couldn't be quick. Yeah. But, like, that's where it starts, like, 
veering off. I like, think it's just the concept itself isn't something that should be explored. Yeah. I don't think it's a good concept. Like I see it, I get the idea. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a good way of doing it. No. No. Oh. Just like all the platforming off the plane is just like so, like, almost jank. All right. You know what I have to do now? Go to a different one. Go back to the middle. See, these literally just exist to get you closer. And even uh, even just here is treacherous. Yeah. Well, like I have to grab the rope. I bet you on paper they're like, yeah, it's uh, an area based around a plane, and they're like, all right. It's like this level's hard uh, because of like all the awkward platforming you have to do to get around it, which this is supposed to be a hard level because it's the last level of a platformer, but the pa yeah. platforming isn't hard. It's tedious. Yeah. It just takes a while. So I just have to go out here, again. climb up, wait for. Oh. And it's jank. Like it's it's put it's pulling me back the entire time, which all the other moving platforms in the entire game don't have that. They don't yeah. pull you weirdly. Like they kind of give you their inertia as you're going through. So I did seven. We did that. We got to go to. We did eight. So we're gonna go to the one. I think it's one. No time to lose. No time to lose. Buzz, we have to. We have to just stand here and wait. Mm -hmm. The game is moving fast And it is fast ever now. so slightly pushing me out. Shit. That's where this is good. There we go. Oh, it's one of these. Aw, oh, jeez, Buzz. I'll come back to that. I don't mind these types of, like, logic puzzles where you have to, like... Flip one on, flip one off, etc., etc. Those are fine puzzles to do. Yeah. <sighs> so how are, how are you gonna ground the air, or the helicopter? The buttons. Oh. The thing I was literally just talking about. You didn't see the buttons. You know, in hindsight, I need to stop talking. <laughs> well, someone needs to be talking. I know. Oh, that's. <laughs> Not over there. <laughs> I'm so glad we have that button. It really helps. So I need. I assume all of them on. <clears throat> Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. What does this do? So you have blue, red on. I need. I assume all of them. Are. So the. No time to lose. Do this. Yellow on. Green on. Yellow on. Blue on. Green on. So now you have green, yellow, red, and red. But is it the... Okay, when I... When I do the green, yellow one, it... did nothing. Okay, what about this? Do yellow, red, see what happens. Okay, so uh, do do the red blue. Nope, that turns off blue. Well, it's resetting. You see, I got three moves to do something here. No time to lose. You know what? Use the buttons to change the bottom row of lights to match the top row. Oh, okay. Puzzle reset if you take more than three tries. If you complete the puzzle, I'll cover the roof down so you can reset the spin attack. 
Okay, glad I read that. Okay, so I just gotta turn the red this one. Nope. Uh, cause you need oh, to turn. Oh, you're right. You're right. I have to do that. And then I Her fucked. Off. I have fucked up. Oh, I did it. No, I. Aha! I'm a genius. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. I was like, we're missing something. Like, do we turn them all on? No, you just tur have to make it match. Can it? That's it. You just make a match. Is that it? For the level, no. Damn it. We still have to get the collectible. Oh yeah, we have one collectible. We did the boss, we did the race, we did we did that puzzle, we have to do the 50 coins and the collectible. Alright. So it's not that bad. Left. Once I find the pig, that is. Ow. More green shit. Boss! Over here. Over here. I need to give you a checkup. I do like the Pixar theory where Andy's mom was the original owner of Jesse. That one makes sense. Because they're like... It makes sense because why would, you know, Andy's mom not be like, where the fuck did these toys come from? But then again, I'm also, as a parent, like, I don't even know what toys... <laughs> Your child has. Yeah. And exactly. Exactly. So, so like if she's as a kid, there's just a level as, a, mm. as an adult, there's just like a level of, of acceptance you have for yourself <coughs> in your house. Yeah. Oh, there. Look at that. <clears throat> I mean, shit. I don't even know half the time what shit I have. Right. <clears throat> oh man, six more tokens. <coughs> Usually, money's not like the last one to do, to be gone. Can I? Can, okay. can you? Apparently not. <laughs> oh, what if that was an insta kill? Like, just then dying. I would rewind. You would rewind it, time. Yeah, but it would be funny. Cool. So now we just need the money and to find a pig. Yeah. Ah. I know there's some more money in the center and right here. Four more. Three more. Two. <laughs> There's one right here. All right, we another green. Okay. What the fuck is pig? That guy can just take it. Yeah, he's got a ton of health. All right, so I'm just exploring until we find the pig. Over here? No, he wouldn't be over there. Oh, they just put stuff in places. Well, yeah, but like, I'm trying to think like logically, like where they could put them. There's also the render distance issues. I have to get close enough to even yeah. check. Chunked. Kachunk. I'll check that. You got him. Hello. Do you know? Here's what you should do. It's in zone five. five. Alright. Thank you, sir. That's like the most useful hint. Yeah. I mean, also the hint about the puzzle. Yeah. But, like, in context of what oh, we're shit. doing now, that was a pretty useful hint. Is it the boot? Maybe the boot? Like, it, is, is Zone 5 one you have to jump to? It looks like it. No, I don't think we can get that high. I don't think we can get much higher. But can we get much higher? <laughs> Wait, is that what you said? Yeah, I said I don't think we can get much higher. Oh, but we can get much higher. Whoa, whoa. Ah, that's a the one yeah, piece. That's a the yeah, one boy. piece is real. To infinity. And, and beyond. beyond. 
We're almost done. I know. Look at his face. 55. What's left, a boss? Yep. Do you guys are the bosses. Al. It's Al? You think it's a human? No. It's a plane. <laughs> Superman. Superman. Um, because, like, I'm trying to think of the context of the ending of Toy Story, and it's like, nothing really fits but a plane. Because the ending of Toy Story 2 was like, they get off the plane. Right. Unless there's a Zerg there. Oh. It's Pete. Well. Oh, Lord. That is cursed. Yeah. Oh. I told you he was the final boss. Three bosses. And the, the, the arena is tilting. You know, like, in context of Toy Story 2, this is fine for a final boss. But, like, as game build-up, it kind of sucks. Because it's literally just three bosses. The last three ones that we fought. Yeah. Two of which aren't even in the movie. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do they all share one health bar? No. That's why I'm trying to take out the, the two ranged ones, and I'll go after the big guy. Yeah. But he's only weak to lasers. Huh. Sheesh. Oh, shit. Is there anything to help you? Nope. No, just Pete is rendered. Darn. I, it would have been hilarious if they just, like, just despawned. I think the gun guy is trapped behind the blacksmith. There we go. One down. All right, they do share a health bar, but they have their own sections. Ah, all right. Wow. There we go. And now the hard one. Oh, no, no. Where is he? Ow. Right there. Got him. He just hit you. Ooh. Well, we don't know how lives work. Well, I don't remember. Do like, I don't remember if they, like, instantly pick up where you are. I'm not going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like cheating. It is cheating. That wasn't. That was hilarious. Well, on my end, that was hilarious. I don't know about yours. Oh, god dang it. Oh, here. I don't little... get the rewind, because, like, it's the last one is, like, right that second, and the other one is, like, literally three frames before. Yeah. And then it's, like, ten seconds. Yeah, you can see that. Excuse me, sir. Could you not? Let's see what happens. Oh. All right. Are we done? Time? Um, too long? Three hours? Sound like that. I wonder if Brax is holding a N64 controller pack in the N64 one. 5002. Alright, we did it.
Nice. And we got bonus oh, movie. Stinky Pete. That took place before that happened. Game one. <laughs> Just these start off with scream. Mood. Congratulations, you have completed Toy Story 2. Traveler's Tales credits. We did it. Game design and programming, John Burton. 3D engine programming, Dave Dustin. Dustin. Character animation, Jeremy Pardon. Character artwork, Neil Allen. Dave Burton. Jeremy Pardon. Wilf Thompson. Background artwork, Neil Allen, Dave Burton, Leon Warren. Bev Bush. What? James Conlon. Alright. Gary Ireland. Holdroid. It's a Star Wars. Uh, senior producers, Rob Letts. Rob Letts. Really uh, more. Quick, you can get there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, we just completed the credits. Speedrun. Ready to eat for everyone? I think it was a good game. That thing held up a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah. For being just a straight port, uh, <clears throat> I think it worked mostly fine, other than a couple jank things. Um, as a platformer, it lines up almost everything to be pretty straightforward to be done. Can we view the whole movie? Can we? You're about to get Mickey Mouse to drop it in your whole house with a SWAT team. Oh, it's just the trailer for Toy Story 2. I think. I'm pretty sure Toy Story 2 didn't start off like that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I do know. Actually, it's been a while since I've seen Two. Yeah, so movie viewer only lets you view that trailer. Fuck out of here. Options. What are you doing? I remember that one. It's classic. Vibration. I like the spinning. That's cute. Vibration. <laughs> For blocks, Carl. <laughs> that is the best Buzz Lightyear model in the entire game. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just a GIF. <laughs> Fuck loses. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I liked it as a kid. I love that, like, there's just, it, you can just go straight back into it. Andy's house. Alright, we're gonna do a I Quit the Game speedrun. You're wasting so much time. There we go. Game's over. This game is great, though. Yeah.